And again, this is our, our state tree, a western hemlock cone. It is blending in with the ground. Found this one just weeding. Hello, this is Mary Pat with Warren Beach Camp Outdoor Education Program. And I'm gonna tell you the story that I learned about why these Douglas fir cones have this little brack on it, this little extra special feature that no other cone has. So if you see a cone, pick up a cone, and you see this little piece on it, you absolutely know it's a Douglas fir cone. This is an origin story I've learned, and I was told it's from the Native Americans in Western Washington. And I do not know the exact tribe to attribute the story to. So I apologize for not knowing, but it is important to know that it is Native American story of how things came to be. So we go back to days before Western culture came to Western Washington. And there was a time when uh, the salmon came up a little late one year, and the mice in the village was just really eating up all the stored food. And so uh, the people came together and, and talked about this crisis, this issue in their village, that the mice were eating all the stored food. And so the people decided that they would go to Raven. And Raven is very smart, very smart bird and knows lots of answers. So they went to Raven and explained the situation about the mice. And the Raven then went and talked to some of the trees. So we talked to uh, the Douglas fir tree and the Western red cedar tree and the spruce tree and even a, a pine tree, which is a little bit distant. But they, they each said, that the best tree for this idea that Raven was proposing would be the Douglas fir tree because of its groovy bark, which makes it easy for mice to climb. So they made a plan, Raven went and shared the plan with the people. And then one morning the plan was gonna happen. So what the people had done is they had gathered together lots and lots of green branches with a lot of green needles on them and they lit them on fire at different places around in the village. And then the people started running around saying, fire, fire, everybody leave, save yourself. And the mice started running around and going, fire, watch out, fire. And so they started running, we gotta leave. And so they uh, ran into the forest and the Douglas fir trees were saying, mice, come on up, climb up our groovy bark where you can climb easily and come up into our branches. And they did that. All the mice started climbing the Douglas fir trees and they went off to the branches and the Douglas fir trees said to the mice, okay, now duck inside our cones. And the cones um, had opened up and the mice all ducked into them and the fir trees closed their cones. And that allowed the people in the village to be able to survive until the salmon came that season. So how, I, how I've heard this ends is that we know this is true, this story is true, because there are the mouse in, all, in the cone. And in all the fur cones, they always carry the tail end and the tail of the mouse. It's a great origin story, and thank you for listening. Now, can you come up with an origin story of something in your yard or a park or a tree that you can see from a window? Maybe you can even write it down. Or at least tell a friend. All right, thanks.